Let's look at another part of the electromagnetic spectrum, microwaves. So here we have our microwaves. We're below, our, see, our wavelength is shorter than FM. Energy is a little bit higher than FM radio waves. Anywhere from about a foot, it's 30 centimeters, to a little bit shorter, to uh, 0.3 centimeters. And with our microwaves, we do a couple things with them. We can cook with them, of course. We do that by vibrating the water molecules. So we cause the water molecules to try to rotate in the process. They begin to rub against each other. And you got to have the right set of frequencies. Not any microwave out there will cause a water molecule to vibrate. You need just the right frequencies. So if you ruin a microwave, you can actually throw them out of tune and they won't work. Uh, another way we use microwaves is going to be satellite imaging. So we have a satellite using microwaves and what it'll do is it'll read the water bodies of water down below through the green canopies of the forests um, and any other type of vegetation so we can see exactly what's going on with the water. And a third way that we use microwaves is with communication. So we have these towers, maybe you recognize this, these towers in Charlottesville, and the, the drums are actually the microwave relays, and the microwave relays go from one place to another. They send out a microwave of a frequency or a wavelength that's not made to heat up water. If that was the case, then you'd see a different problem happening with birds and migration patterns with the microwaves. So they're not that kind of frequency. You're not going to cook with, with these drums and communications. Because it is part of the electromagnetic spectrum, microwaves, just like all parts of the spectrum, the uh, waves actually travel at the speed of light, 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second.